Imagine being able to see a mouse from over a mile away while diving out of the sky at 200 miles per hour. Falcons have incredible visual resolution, perceive the world in slow motion, and have some other superpowers because of their unique eyes. But they have some weird visual disadvantages compared to us. Let's start by talking about why a falcon can see a mouse from over a mile away. Falcons have 22 vision, meaning that from 20 feet away from something, they see the same level of detail that the average human sees from two feet away. This is because they have a higher density of cone photoreceptors in their eyes. Cone cells let us see details when it's bright out and give us color vision. Falcon's eyes are also huge relative to the size of their head. They're also shaped differently than our eyes, being tube-shaped instead of spherical. That gives falcons higher magnification and a larger area on their retinas that forms images. Their eyes are like telephoto lenses and are great for zooming in on some poor, unsuspecting prey. But that's not the only weird thing about falcons' eyes that give them some visual superpowers. There's one small area in the center of each of our retinas called the fovea, where we have our sharpest vision. That's where we have the highest density of photoreceptors. It's why what you see is the sharpest and clearest in the very center of what you're looking at, and it gets more blurry in your peripheral vision. Falcons, on the other hand, have two fovea per eye, a central one looking straight ahead and a lateral fovea angled off to the side. When they're diving down from the sky, their lateral fovea still focus on prey even as their head is angled downward. But at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that falcons see the world in slow motion. In animals, flicker fusion rate describes how quickly they can process visual information. It's essentially the point at which a blinking light blinks fast enough for it to look like it's continuously on. Our flicker fusion rate is around 60 times per second, or 60 hertz while Falcon's flicker fusion frequency is around 100 to 150 hertz. So because they process visual information faster, they see in slow motion by our standards. Here's what a pigeon taking off looks like to a peregrine falcon. We'll cover one more falcon visual superpower before we get to their weird visual disadvantages compared to us. They can see colors that are invisible to us. Humans have three types of those cones, the color detecting cells, that center around red, green, and blue light. Falcons have a fourth bonus type of cone centered around ultraviolet, or UV light, that's invisible to us. This lets them easily spot the urine trails of animals, since P reflects UV light, and some animals have hidden patterns on them reflecting UV wavelengths, so this lets them better spot prey. While falcons sound like little superheroes, they do have some visual disadvantages compared to humans. Their up-close vision sucks. Falcon's vision is incredible for spotting things far away, but it can't shift to things up close to them as well as ours can. Earlier, I mentioned that a falcon's eyes are like telephoto lenses. That means that they're great for zooming in far away, but they suck at taking selfies. They also can barely move their eyes in their head, while we can roll our eyes around in all kinds of directions, falcons have to physically turn their head in order to look around them. Falcons also have bad night vision. Earlier, we talked about their cone cells, but there's another type of photodetector cell called rods, and that's what lets you see black and gray details when it's dark. Falcons have a ton of cone cells, and that gives them great vision during the day, but they have a much lower concentration of rod cells than us, so they can barely see at night. And finally, their crazy visual processing is metabolically expensive. Falcons' brains are processing a ton of detail coming in from their eyes, and that takes a lot of energy. So falcon vision contributes to them needing to proportionally eat a lot more than us relative to their body weight. If we suddenly had falcon vision magically, our brains would probably be overwhelmed with too much detail. We're just not used to processing that much visual information super quickly, and it's like a fire hose of so much visual detail going to their brains. 